Be sure to listen to the warnings at the end of this short movie. They are very, very important, and you'll find them very useful in purchasing your next trailer. Uh, today I'm showing you a uh, Harbor Freight um, little mini utility trailer. Yeah, do yourself a favor, get yourself a square when you're going to do this. Uh, it's not really that bad. Most of the bolts are all the same size. Um, I believe it's a 14 millimeter socket I got laying there on the ground and a 17 millimeter wrench for the uh, yeah, 16 millimeter socket, whatever's on there. And uh, and that's bag of hardware, pretty much. And bolts, that's it. But springs, and the tires, and all the shackles, and what have you. So, when it comes to uh, the spindle shaft, I just put some grease on. Uh, this nut has more wobble in it than, uh, I don't know what to tell you, and it's on both sides. Uh, it's not the shaft that's bent. Uh, it is just, now this is supposed to take my, uh, this is supposed to take my wheelbarrow nut. So, uh, this is just a regular cheesy castellated nut that I used to make bazillions of out of an old clone screw machine. Evidently the Chinese guys here haven't quite got this figured out, but the thread on the inside of that is some poor. So at some point I'm going to probably have to try to find myself, I'm sure that that is some metric number uh, but in order for my bearing to uh, stay squeezed flat right proper uh, this nut is just in uh, no way is it any good it just the that there's a few things about the trailer uh, as far as the uh, assembly goes that uh, yeah try to put this back on if it even wants to start uh, yeah you have to start it crooked so that it runs right okay so, um, a couple of things. I have been using a big frame and square to put this together with, uh, but even still, the frame is square uh, by that uh, frame and square, but you can see the axle in the machine is just crooked as hell. So, I don't know if there's going to be any beating around. I'm going to be able to do that after I get the wheels mounted on there and see what it actually looks like on the upright position. But uh, she's looking pretty out of square, and I'm not sure there's going to be anything I can do with that. It has to do with the locations of the hole. I believe it's a full quarter inch. And the holes that uh, fit the little nuggets that are on the bottom of the springs, there's a hole in the back side of this. They're, they're off by a quarter inch from end to end on this axle shaft. So it's a good thing that I don't have to go down the highway with this. If I did have to go down the highway with it, she would probably be running about three feet outside the truck. So, Most uh, trailer kits that you assemble yourself that are bolted together consist of the axle, tires, and here just the four wheel lug is all. The shackles are for mounting the springs up to the frame. And there's the safety chains and the frame on the left. This is the uh, nut that he talked about, a close-up of how it hardly has any threads even. And this is supposed to take and keep your uh, bearings tight and your wheels on the trailer. Look at how the thing is so cross-threaded. This is unreal. I couldn't believe it when the person sent me this movie and I watched it. The frame, look at how crooked that is. That he says it'd go off three feet. I'll bet it would wear a set of tires out in about uh, 200 miles. Here's our new Little Economy motorcycle trailer. And next up we have our larger trailer for pulling behind small cars. The Economy uh, luggage carriers that fit on our trailers, 50 inches and 71 inches. And here's our new small car car carrier. And here is a smart car up on top of our new trailer. Remember, all of our trailers are assembled in America, and we're proud of it. Our trailers are large enough to carry almost any of your needs. A rear receiver is available to accept a bicycle accessory carrier or other things. Our enclosed trailers are large enough to even take the largest of bicycles, mobility scooters, 
and even power wheelchairs. This is what the interior of our yuppie wagon looks like. And it is a rear ramp or swing open door available unit. The unit we're looking at here is the Pullmore trailer. And there's the inside. It makes a great luggage trailer. Let us crate one up and ship it to you today. Or we can deliver it to you on our truck. When you need an open utility or enclosed small trailer, think of Versa Trailer. Versa Trailers have been made in the United States since 1984. We also specialize in open mobility trailers. And of course, our trailer is a 12 in 1. It can take all kinds of accessories from a luggage rack, roof carrier. And remember, we're made in America. We're proud of it. Give Versa Trailer a call for your next trailer need. Thank you for watching. This is the warning that comes with most of the bolt together China import trailers. It says, don't never attempt to back a loaded tag along trailer. This can stress the trailer and possibly bend the frame. That's because the steel is so thin that it can't take the pressure of it backing up, but it can pretty much take the pressure of being pulled. The other thing that comes with a lot of the trailers that are import, it says do not exceed 45 miles per hour or the majority of them 55 miles per hour. Think about that before you think about buying a bolt together import.